Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Thursday morning. Let me get a pen right quick. I gotta write down something. Oh, man, where are my pens? But yeah, as you can see, Miss Kay is up bright and early. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I got to uh, Auntie Mama's kitchen. I don't know how I get stuff mixed up. But yeah, I was we going live in the morning. Auntie Mama's Kitchen. She coming on every morning at 5. Well, she coming on in the morning at 5. So I don't know if she's going to do it every morning. But um, yeah, me. Well, it's her live. Auntie Mama's Kitchen. Okay, good. I got a pen. I got to clean this pocketbook out, y'all. I'm going to put that on here. That's Auntie Mama's Kitchen. We be in there just sitting, talking, having coffee and everything. You know, uh, talking about, you know, things that's going on in the world. I mean, it's 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 like a, <laughs> all us golden girls. <laughs> we just be on there talking, but we have a guy in there. His name is Craig. And, you know, y'all come over and join us in the morning. It's going to be 5 a.m., over at Auntie Mama's Kitchen. I know, y'all. I look a little... I got to beat the face just a little bit. I don't do too much makeup. Okay, but we're going to get right into the daily bread. I'm getting ready to go out the door. And I wasn't going to do it, but I said, nah, uh-huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Let me give us a little word of encouragement. They blessed me. They blessed my day. They told me to have a good day at work. And I said, you know what? Uh-uh. I'm going to take the time out to do it. My daily bread didn't go out the door because I need to be getting up out of here. Let me get that word in. I read it for myself, and now I'm going to share it with you. Yeah, I'm going to put some lips on a little bit. Tighten up the my breath. And as you can see, my second cup of coffee. Okay, I believe this is coming out of, I thought it was Psalms, but it's not. Isaiah 54 and 5. For thy maker is thy husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The God of the whole earth shall be called. Again, that's Isaiah 54 and 5. This is an eternal truth. We will never find anyone who can ever measure up to God. It is comforting to know this as we navigate through different situations in our life. Knowing that nothing can ever be too big for God. He is never moved by the problems we face because they cannot shake him. No man, no power, no principality can even dare to come to us and try to convince us that they are greater than God. Who can p compare to the one who created the heavens, the earth, and everything in between? Nobody. Amen. Prayer. Dear God, no one can compare to your greatness, there is no one, not a single being in this universe that can try to stand up to you. There is none so worthy of that. I am humbled by you, humbled by you, O oh Lord, that in your greatness you should count it necessary to have me as your child. And all the things I have read, seen, and heard of your greatness, O oh Lord, I know that there is much more to your greatness. We are yet to know. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, uh, he has not failed one word of all his good all his good promises. That's the story by David Jacobs. Now let's go to the quiz. For thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth shall be called. Your choices are Job, Zephan Zephaniah, 1 Samuel, and Isaiah. Isaiah. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the daily bread. Even though it was a little fast. I'm sorry. I'm skipping over some words and stuff. So, uh, I'm going to finish getting myself together. This thing got bright enough for me to head on now. And y'all have a, a blessed and wonderful day. Where's my makeup at? <laughs> y'all, I see you. The bigger the pocketbook, the more junk. I'm going to put some of this. Let me get on the other side. And uh, I'll get back with y'all tomorrow with a daily bread. Or I might get with y'all with some dinner today. I cooked yesterday, y'all. I had a good time. I was just in here frying chicken yesterday, giving away pecan salad, pecans, frying chicken for uh, my little neighbors and stuff. You know, I, you know, sometimes you you get bored sitting up in this house. And I would have ate half about all them chicken wings. I said, no, I ain't going to do that. 
So I fried a big old pack of chicken wings yesterday and you just eating. Everybody was just tearing them up. And that's a good thing. I like sharing sometimes. So I'm going to get me another pack today, but I'm going to hide out with them. They're going to see this. Y'all ain't getting no chicken wings today. <laughs> I'm just playing. Y'all know y'all more than welcome. But yeah, I got to get me another pack of chicken wings, honey. We fr I fried that whole pack and they were got gone. So uh, y'all have a blessed day. And I'll see y'all later. Maybe cooking. All right. Later. Whoosh.